Frank, you must be happy with that performance. Yeah, very happy with it. Yeah, everything went good. They had plenty of speed on early and he just tracked into it and he was pretty fit and he got home, yeah. Back in the area after spending some time down in the Riverina? Yeah, he was down with Sean Sutton down there and we had a great run with him and I was tickled pink. I was sad to bring him home because I reckon you can't train as good as him. I thought, oh, gee, I'm on a little flogging here. But anyway, this one's turned out all right. The other one does, yep. So what's the plans with Monovay now? Are you looking for any races in particular? Um, I'll probably race him here for a while. Not really. But I'll probably send him down to Jared Elch and I usually send him down there when they get to that class. So he's in, a, he's in one of those finals at, at Menangle on Saturday night, the country front final. So he'll go around in that and we'll see what happens from there, you know. He looks like a nice horse. Um, he is a really good horse. Um, we've, he's, he's, a, he's a hypo horse. He gets excited and he used to get on the steel a bit. I reckon if I can get him to go to sleep, he'll run home pretty good. So I'm just going to settle him a bit now, you know, try to settle him and, and he'll make a better class, the horse, yeah. And when you came, today, came to the races today, mm-hmm. did you think you, you were on the winner? I thought he was the winner. I thought he could camp out and win. He's probably, Sean's been training him outside the leader and he's been going really good down there for him. So uh, I thought, well, if the other favourite led, I'd go round, you know, but there was plenty of speed on, so it was made for me. You know, he had a hard run and I had it easy, yeah. And what about the Goldwyn track? Do you like it? Um, it's a funny track. I've driven here before and I got lost plenty of times, but I can get lost on a small track. So, um, but these big tracks, they, they bring you undone sometimes, don't they, you know? But this has always been a good surface here, you know? Yeah. Congratulations with Monovay today. Pleasure. Glad to be here. Glad to get a winner. Dennis, my Dotty Lee, good winner in the second. Yeah, no, she ran nice for a first start. Tell us a little bit about her. Uh, yeah, she was uh, a mare that was broken in as a yearling and just left in the paddock and that, and a group of people got together and leased her. She's owned by Isopo Proprietary Limited, and, and uh, they, they said we could lease her, which gave their new group of owners an opportunity of, of getting into the game. Halfway down the straight, there was a very large roar from the crowd. It sounds like the, uh, the owners were out here in force today. Yeah, no, they were excited having a first start, and I said, well, look, as long as she does everything right, we'd be happy. I said, but she'd be more than competitive, so it was a good result. So what's the plans with her now? Do you think she's got a fair bit of upside? Yeah, she should. She's come a long way. Like, when we got her about four months ago, she was only broken in and and gated up, and that was it. But she's come a long way in a short period of time. We may give her a little ease up and then go again. She's still very green. And to win a race on a day that's so special for the Day family, I think I think that'd give you a bit of a thrill as well. Yeah, oh, well, it's always good to win a race, but it's good to win one when worth a bit more than normal prize money, so that's another reward for them. Well, mate, congratulations with the win today in race number two, and uh, fingers crossed for more throughout her career. Thanks, Greg. Charlevel, pretty impressive today. Yeah, he was. He's um really nice horse. Didn't really work to plan. I thought they'd sort of back off, come and pass the winning post, and I'd get there a bit cheaper than what I did, but... um. He stuck it on really good. He sort of hit the front and switched off. Then the other horse come at him. He was strong again. And he was there to be beaten. That uh, very fast second quarter took the uh, took the zip out of uh, the horse that was in front. But uh, when the when the horse came three wide, your fellow was in for the fight. Yeah, he is. Look, he's sort of one of them horses that enjoys company. I sort of didn't really want to go past the leader too early, but sort of didn't have much of a choice. And uh, when I got left in front, he sort of switched off. And then when Michael Towers' horse coming him strong, he sort of lifted down the knee and was drawing clear on the line again. What about the decision to miss the Victoria Derby? You happy with that now? Very. Uh, I think we always had a plan not to go. Um, just too close, I believe, from Victoria to Sydney. Then you've got to remember he's Bathurst and Breeders' Challenge and Breeders' Crown at the end of the year. You can't be in everything. And um, as you saw from the heats on Saturday night at Ballarat, it's no easy feat going down there. So um, we've elected to stay home. We had a chat with Daniel Cordina and me and Kerry, but... I'm pretty happy with that decision. And what about uh, Daniel Cordina or the Cordina family as a whole? They've been great supporters of uh, Kerry and Turner and the Morris Stable prior to that. Yeah, the Cordina family have been unbelievable to me and Kerry starting off when we were young, training sort of a small team and they helped us build no end and they also had always had good horses with Dad. So um, they're a great family, they breed great horses and we're just thrilled to get three or four from every year. And this horse, Charleval, getting better with a bit of age? Yeah, he is. Um, sort of took a little bit early, he was a little bit of a handful and sort of could have a mind of his own. He still does it sometimes, but um, look, he's getting a lot better and stronger each time he goes around. And Look, he's, he's a derby horse, but he needs a right run. He needs everything to go his way like, we, like it did in the Simpson Memorial. And um, if he gets everything to go his way, he's always going to be thereabouts. Well done. Thank you. Robbie Merrywood Ruby really picked up in the last little bit. 
Yeah, look, she's um, she's sort of genuine, but not so genuine at times. She sort of gets a little bit green, but look, she sort of dropped the bit around the bend, and we were lucky we were able to tuck back in for 50 yards, just gave her to gain herself again and grab the bit, and she come out and sort of made it to the line real good. When she dropped the bit, did you think you were, uh, you know, it was game over? Not really, because I know her quite a bit now. I've driven her a fair bit, and she's done silly things like that before. So I sort of just knew if I could keep the kid and do her and just keep her sort of going forward, she'll she'll grab the bit, turn the frame, which she did. Wayne Dimmick uh, had a good day, but that, that mare, she's now put together a pretty handy record. She's won four from 20, and she's run 11 placings as well, so she's got some ability inside. She's a really nice filly. Um, she's going to go a long way in her career. She just has a little bit of trouble being genuine. A lot of the time, she's ran a lot of seconds. She's loomed up and looked the winner and sort of never really gone on with it, but um, she hit the line good today, and she hit the line, and she hit hit the front and really ran through the line, so I was happy with that. So in saying that and, and those traits that she's got, if, if they throw her in the deep end and, and put her into a nice race, is, you know, she'll follow speed to a point. Is, is, she that, is she that classy? She'll follow all day, yeah. Like I think um, the next plan is the Oaks. I think, um, look, she's no Oaks. One, one of them horses that you say is going to go out and win the Oaks, but if things go her way and they go hard and she's just tucked away somewhere off them, she, they'll know she's there. She, I've got a high opinion of her. She does a lot, lot wrong at this early stage of her career for the record she's got. Double on Goulburn Cup Day, good afternoon. Yeah, it is good afternoon. Plenty of people here. It's good for the club. They put a great show on all the time and um, it's good to get here. Jason, Village Witch, she's just getting better and better. Yeah, no, she definitely is. She um, just showed her true colours today. She's a tough man. She just loves doing it tough. Just having a look, um, she's uh, been performing very well when you've been driving her and you have been able to, to drive her in a few different positions, but um, that improvement, is she going to be a horse that can pick up a win at Menangle? Oh, definitely. She um, she was my first winner and she, she just kept on winning. She always goes good for me. Well, I love her like she's just a try. Take us through the run today. Oh, uh, I saw I drove her a bit tough and I knew all the better ones were outside me, so I just tried to keep going for the front and we couldn't get it. But Provincial, he done it pretty tough to get there. Now, what about uh, your career? It's um, you're able to, to pick up a fair few winners early. Yeah, no, definitely. I've only had my license for ten months, I think, and. I, I think that was my 20th winner. So, yeah, it's all going great, guns. What what encouraged you to, to pick it up? Uh, the old man. Yeah, he sort of got out of it, and I didn't didn't really get into it. But then I moved back to Young, and, yeah, I just got into it. Josh helped me out a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, Josh, is, Josh has been a big supporter. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, congratulations with the win today, and uh, who's to know? We might see uh, Village Witch down at Menangle picking up a race very soon. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Cyclone Kate, she just keeps getting better. Yeah, no, she's a good little mare, uh, Greg. She's, um, yeah, she's just improving all the time. And, um, and probably in saying that too, she was uh, going pretty good when I got her. She ran second at Auckland on their main night, so uh, she was in good form when I got her. Did it worry you today after the, the run at Tamworth on Friday night? No, not really, because um, I took her home and I gave her a lot of food and, um, and she cleaned it up in a short space of time. So um, I knew the run didn't affect her and she was just bucking and kicking in the yard. So, um, you know, that's we were pretty keen to come down today if she pulled up good and, and she did. She's been racing through the grades and you've been able to drive her from in front or outside the leader today. Once she gets up in grade, what, do you, what, what are your plans with her? Um, just depends on where I draw. She's pretty versatile. She 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 probably better with a sit, you know. But um, just in the races I've been in and that, it's just been good to go forward. But uh, you know, she can sit and sprint too. So, uh, but you know, she's just a good all-round mare. Ladyship Mile heats or the qualifiers, if you like, now. Yeah, we'll have a go at that, and um, hopefully we'll get a run in one of them, and um, yeah, and see if we can um, maybe try and make the ladyship. Where, where did you get her from? Uh, Gareth Dixon out of Auckland. Um, been mates with Gareth for quite a while and um, tried to buy a few horses off him in the past and he just rang up one day and said um, oh, you've bombed out buying a couple off me, what about you take this mare, we don't want to sell her but we want to keep her to breed with and um, would you take her to train? And I said I'd love to because I remember her as a two year old in the Breeders' Crown and she actually, I think she might have ran third she went pretty darn good you know and um, so yeah it was uh, nice to get a quality mare. Well, mate well done today congratulations, you've had a big few days, you've done a lot of kilometres but you've been well rewarded, well done Yeah, Thanks Greg that's a nice win, the Goulburn Cup. Yeah, for sure. We weren't expecting it, Hazy, but uh, yeah, we'll take it. Tell us a little bit about the run because he, he obviously came from a long way back. Yeah, look, when the draw came out last week, we drew barrier eight, so he, he's only a, a horse with one sort of a sprint on him, so we were just always going to be nearer to last and first, and um, that's where we were, we will last, and just got a beautiful trip into it, halfway up the back straight, got on the back of T-O-N-T-O's back, and um, he's always finishing his races off nice, so I was... I was 
knew we were going to always run into it, but yeah, to run past them like that, um, yeah, over the moon with his effort. Nice field too, so does that give you some confidence to, to head back to Menangle with him? What's the plans? Oh uh, yeah, uh, for sure, like he's um, he's been racing in the free-for-alls down there for a long time now, so I mean, I guess it wasn't out of his reach today, it was just a, just a barrier and um, where he was going to end up in the run, but uh, yeah, we'll go back down there and poke around Saturday nights for sure. Do you give him a, a shot at a Miracle Mile qualifier? Oh, look, if, if, if it so happened, yeah, um, they give him a start in it, um, in, in a qualifier, well, you know, he could go around. As I say, with the right trip, he can sort of do anything on his day, but um, yeah, you just need that trip and a bit of luck. So, How many how many runs has he had this time in? Not many? I think that was his fifth fifth one back in. Uh, he, he got hit the line really hard two starts ago at an angle, um, where they went 51 in the free-for-all. I was really happy with him that night, and um, he's backed it up today. My congratulations with a win in the Goulburn Cup. Well done. Thanks, Greg. Robbie, come collect. Impressive winner. Had a nice run, but uh, sprinted quickly. Yeah, she's a pretty fast mare. Um, she'll go through, I think, sort of the metro grade. She's a really nice mare. She's just got a few little things to iron out. Temperament's probably not the best at some days, but no, I really like her. Went around in the Breeders' Challenge final and, and nice, or Breeders' Crown final. Nice to get the phone call and say, take this one. Yeah, look, the last start was the Breeders' Crown final, and it's always good when you sort of shed eight weeks off and come to us fresh. And David Miles rang and said that he thought she'd go right through her grades, and um, he was spot on. John Dorrington owns her. He's um, been super good to us. He's given us two horses, Smoky Quartz and her, and they're both very nice horses that are definitely Saturday night horses. Um, and, and she's going places this man. So uh, as a four-year-old mare, do you, what, are, what are their long-range targets for her? Yeah, look, if she keeps going the way she is, she'll probably go back to Melbourne for the Breeders' Crown four-year-old mares. Um, that's a bit further away. That's at the end of the season. So we'll just sort of roll through the grades and, and get her to those mares races. Hopefully this time next year she'll be in them real good mares races. Menangle, good track for her because she's got that speed? Very good for her. Like a, a sort of, um, She's a bit of a temperamental mare and... That's the whole reason we brought it to Goulburn, just to break it up a little bit for her, and um, she really enjoyed it. She handled the track. She's sort of good driving mare, but yeah, Menangle's her track. Can you run down Todd McCarthy in the Premiership? No, nah, I think Toddy's got me. Toddy's um, fair way in front. We sort of had a good duel there early on, then he put the sword to me, and um, Toddy's done a great job. He's driving a lot of winners, but we'll just keep poking away. Through today, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you.